Hey everyone, Luke here. Um, back with another comic review, this time of the graphic novel You Have Killed Me. This is by Jamie S. Rich and Joelle Jones. Uh, they are a husband-wife team. Uh, Jamie is the writer, Joelle is the artist. This is a um, sort of a um, crime noir detective um, graphic novel in which a private investigator is called in by, the, by a beautiful uh, woman to find her twin sister who apparently has cold feet on the eve of her wedding and seemingly escapes from an inescapable bathroom. She never uh, comes out, no, no one's really sure what happened to her. Um, there are plenty of suspects that the private investigator has to go uh, interview and he gets roughed up um, along the way, which something happens quite often in, in a, sort of a, a PI genre. These guys aren't superheroes. They're fallible. They can they can fall in love with the with their clients quite easily, and they're um, but they're also they're also that's what that's what makes them very interesting. Now the story, I'll start off with this. Um, it goes along fairly well, and um, everything gets gets moving, you know, in a, at a relatively good speed. This is about 180 pages, so this is about probably about a six or seven issue uh, miniseries if, if it were uh, um, collected um, otherwise. But um, things move, move along pretty well. I felt like I, I was, you know, uh, reading pretty fast to get through, um, you know, chapter after chapter. So I felt like um, things moved along well. But the story just sort of starts, um, started to fall apart a little bit as as time went on to the last couple of chapters. Um, a lot of twists, and the ending really isn't isn't terribly satisfying. Um, I'll let you read it if you'd like to. It's certainly not um, hard to find. I got it from my library. Now I, I had to use the interlibrary loan because it wasn't available uh, directly from my library, but still I was able to find it. It's pretty cheap online if you wanted to buy it if you're interested in, in the genre. And, it, and this was just kind of disappointing. But I will I will highlight uh, the fact that I, I thought the art was pretty good. Um, it's quite cartoony in, in places, but it, it's really good, and it's in black and white. Let me uh, flip the camera around here and try and... No, I can't do that. Okay. Alright, so the camera seems to be locked on me, so I'll make adjustments here and show you some of the art. Not sure if that's visible or not. I'll show you another little page, try to avoid any spoilers or stuff like that, but... It's pretty well done. I like the art. That was definitely the best part. Um, and what appears to happen is that Joel Jones and Jamie Rich appear to work together quite a bit. There's a, there's a whole laundry list of stuff that they've also worked on before, other graphic novels and stuff. So I'm not sure if she'd ever worked with someone else or what her, her whole history is, but she's definitely um, a good artist. And I never thought that the, the, the sort of highly animated style would work for a sort of noir story, but surprisingly it does. Um, so the art definitely lifts it up from where it could have been before, um, because the story was kind of disappointing, so that, that sort of drags it down to a 6 out of 10. If the story had, had been better, I could easily see this getting an 8, maybe maybe even a 9, but unfortunately, I think it started to f fall apart a little bit, and, um, unfortunately things just got really convoluted, and, um, it just kind of, kind of lost me in some places. And there are some other middling reviews on, online that maybe suggest that things were a little, a little more obvious in, as to the plotting. Um, I, I won't say that, but unfortunately, uh, uh, there are other people who agree with me, and I'm not the only person who, who thinks this. Um, but, you know, if you're interested in, in the genre, definitely check it out for the art. That's definitely a uh, book strong suit. It's from uh, Oni Press. came out five years ago, I believe, 2009. Anyway, um, give you a little taste of what I'm going to be reviewing next. Another book I got from the Interlibrary Loan, another kind of hard to find book. Um, well, actually, it's this is also pretty cheap online if you want to get it. I wasn't really sure about it, so I'm going to show it here. The Untouchables by Joe Pruitt. It originally came out from Caliber Comics. It was in re release and trade through, um, through Image. Give you a little uh, shot there with the cover. Um, don't know how, how tied into. Um, the movie or the various TV series this is, um, but flipping flip, flip through it, this is another black and white book which seems to um, do the whole crime genre justice. So 
looking forward to that. That'll be my next video. And um, in the meantime, uh, happy reading, guys.